Brothers of Steel. Ah, uh, crap. Oh, well, howdy folks, and welcome back to your home port. Today we have a nice battle here in the Tier 8 Premium Italian Battleship, Roma. I don't know why I don't play this ship more. I always have a fairly decent battle in it. Um... It, it's it's not bad at tier 8. I mean, ultimately, Bismarck is my favorite tier 8, but uh, I can't complain very much about the Roma. Um, I, like I say, I usually do pretty well in it. We got a battle here on the Two Brothers map. It's a domination mode uh, game this time. Uh, Two Brothers is the one with the pathway down between the two islands. A lot of people like to shoot through and try to rush that and cap the cap on the other side right away. Uh, doesn't usually work out, but it is exciting to watch. Well, let's get into that. Now, this map... I usually always seem to start from this side. I don't know why. <laughs> but I do prefer, when on this side of the map, to go for the D cap in the domination mode. I, when I head to the A cap over there, I end up out in front, and then I'm suddenly the focus of almost every shot from the enemy team. And I usually get heavily damaged and then have to play from there forward with very few hit points. I usually do better when I go this side. don't know why. But uh, we're going over. We've got uh, two cruisers, destroyer, and a battleship off to our uh, starboard side here, I think. Do, do, do. And we'll be waiting to see. Look for some reds. Oh, they've spotted a uh, aircraft out. They've spotted a destroyer across the other side. So they have several and many going to A. So far, we've spotted nothing going to D. But you can bet there'll be something out here. Our destroyer's been already calling for uh, any aircraft fire support oh calling again and looks like the cruiser in front of me is going to launch a fighter there we go however he's not very close to the destroyer so i'm not sure how much good that fighter is going to do if the fighter comes towards me i think i'll just try and shoot it down or rather these rocket planes uh, i'm going to save my fighters i've only got two we do have an aircraft carrier, so I will, I'm will. i going to save mine for more concerted, say, torpedo attack on me or something like that. I'm going to hold off on this stuff. There's plenty of ships here to shoot those guys down, including myself. So, Now, choppy. Let's see if we can... Uh, that, of course, puts us in the detected zone if the aircraft hadn't done it already. Here comes my shots coming down. Nothing. Three people shoot at them. No hits. It's like four or five salvos at him and nobody hit him that is one lucky boat <laughs> have to keep our eye on that guy he's gonna be painful what we got here that looks like the alaska whose guns always seem to do decent damage uh, mr chappy oh i think like a replay bug i was actually aimed up at the battleship back there but we'll see what happens probably not oh no ah friendly cruiser i don't think he's looking where he's going at all he's just trying to steer away from the enemy ships that are shooting at him ah buddy so i had to take a hit you probably took a couple because you ran into me he's nope he's still not looking doesn't understand what's going on i'm peeling away i think he's figured it out okay <laughs> i'm gonna get penalized for him running into me i like how they share up that uh, liability so there's the Musashi, and there's one of the new Georgias behind it. I'm not ever going to go for that Georgia ship, because, you know, it's not a real ship. It is Wargaming's interpretation of what a ship could have been. <laughs> yeah, not doing it. Not going for it. I mean, I appreciate their... It'd be fun to create ships in for the game, but uh, I'm more interested in historical stuff. So, we've still got... So there's two battleships, two cruisers, and likely the destroyer is in the cap. We just can't see him right now. Let's see if I can drop some shells on that Musashi over the island. Possibly not. No. Well, okay, no problem. Yeah, we'll be back for you. So there's still a cruiser there that's still visible. He's shooting at us now. Woo! Yeah, so there you go. That's the Alaska, I'm pretty darn sure, and... Uh, yeah, and those guns always seem to deal decent damage. Boy, is he going to make it through those torps? Is he going to beat them? Ooh, one hit, two hits. He sucked up two torpedoes. Let's give another one to that chappy, maybe. Yeah, he's going fast. I have to read him. Oh, man, we're burning. Fantail, let that burn. Our uh, 
damage control party will be able to regain those hit points. So we got a couple of overpens on the chappy. Ooh, near misses from the battleships, thank goodness. There we go, fire is out. We've put it out. Nobody's shooting HE at us anymore, no need to let it burn, and we'll claw back Problema some hit risotto, points. Signore. Problema risotto. All right, Musashi, guns not pointed at me, which is a nice thing, so we can afford to give a little steeper angle than I normally would like, just to get all guns to bear and bring them down on him. He saw the shots coming. Two bouncers. Wow, that is not quite what we were hoping for. All right, nobody around us. I won't be driving into anyone. Nobody really to shoot. Oh, shots coming in there. Okay, let's, uh, full power, let's boogie. There is no need to go in there and mix it up. If I had my Bismarck, I would have been sorely tempted to go duke it out with both those guys, but even that would not have worked out well. Two and one rarely ever does, and those two have very big guns, which the Bismarck is not armored for. It would have been tough, but I would have tried it. <laughs> I would have set the secondaries to decimate one of them while I was blazing away with the big guns at the other one. Could have been fun. Now, we got here. Got the HE loaded now. I'll try and set some fires on these guys because their angles are just too hot. Too hot for uh, AP to pen. Well, that's okay. Maybe we get a fire here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. And 5,000 damage and a fire. Oh, and he went and put it out just like that boy if i could get another fire going he'll have to let it burn he won't be able to put it out for like a minute or two at least that would be rocking Ta -da. he's turning in very nice Let's see what we can do here shots out oh and oh thank goodness the uh, georgia missed a couple hits four hits no pens no explosions for the uh, HE. They all shattered, so no effect there. Too bad. Would have liked to have got that fire going. Guns of the Musashi definitely pointed at us now. He's taking notice. Georgia not pointed at us. They've got three caps. Wow. And we've only got the one cap. Definitely a disadvantage there. They are leading by almost 200 cap points. More than 200 cap points because we just lost our tier 9 Neptune cruiser. Alright, well, I think our destroyer's done a pretty good thing here. It's going to be... How many of those torps are going to hit that Musashi? They're looking good. Boy, there's some crisscrossing torps. Well, I'm thinking at least two. Let's see. One. Ooh, not that one. Two, three. Wow. So, three hits. Okay. And not the ones I thought we were going to. <laughs> Later ones. Three big hits, so that's nice. That really softens him up because it is just me and the destroyer over here, really, that are paying attention to those guys, I think. I have to see. I haven't noticed any of our own team shells going flying back that way recently. They all ran away, so i got to come back in here and keep up the uh, persistent pain in the butt. It could be distracting at the very least, and hey, maybe we'll get lucky and citadel one of these guys. That would just be perfect. I've noticed the Roma, it seems when I aim strictly at the waterline, they always seem to fall a little short, just like that. So, uh, going to be raising the gun sight up just a little bit. Seems to be a, a theme every time I shoot at somebody with these guns. Do... Okay, Georgia gone. Find the island, lost sight. Oh, he's back in sight. Oh, one hit. One hit on us from the Musashi. This guy's just so nicely broadside. I wonder if he's armored like the Iowa. They say it's fast it's like the Iowa, but... And... Thump. Well, two pens. Three over pens. Not bad. I would love to have seen a bit of a citadel there, but... Oh, he's firing. Turning away. Turning away. Hit the angle. Must be... Oh! And <laughs> Musashi fired too. I think that that... Uh, angling was about the best we could have done really all right he's still there but he is definitely watching us now here eat hot shell buddy okay yeah he's quick he's definitely quick and those were short again well one would have been on 
But uh, that's the dispersion of battleship guns. And thump, oop, two pens, one over pen. So it's not like our shells can't deal with him in his armor. But it does need to be uh, properly positioned. Ah, look at him trying to peek out here. And these shells are for you. Now let's see, how are those going to go? One of them looks like it's going to go way further than the other two. Oh, two pens. Nice, almost 8,000 damage there. That's really good. Comes the rest of our shells. Looks like he's getting ready to go backwards. Noth oh, one over penner. So that could have been better. That would have been nice if it had been better. Okay, the Georgia is on his way out. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> was that the Georgia? No. Yeah, that was the Georgia. Good ship to have gone. Okay, Musashi over there. And we pretty much get this side cleared then. Oh, yeah. What you say? Okay. Do -do 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 -do. Come on out, buddy. I'm gonna turn in here and go after him. It looks like oh, we've got a battleship down the throat between the islands. Hopefully that works out for him. He's going to have a lot of people shooting at him, though, you can bet. We're going to go after the Musashi here and be able to cover if any bad guys come down that uh, center stretch. Massachusetts gone. Taken out by the enemy Alaska. Aha. All right, Musashi. He's decided to make a break for it. Hopefully, I did lift that up far enough. Well, looks promising. Not bad. Two pens, two over pens. Boo. Yeah, he's taking many hits. He's not going to be around long. Fact. Boy, I'll tell you. If I don't get loaded soon, I won't even get another shot at him. And... Ha! <laughs> of course. He blows up just as I'm hitting the button. Oh, well. What you going to do? We are at full speed, just about. And now, we oh, see, they did come up. That's the enemy Alaska, and it looks like another Georgia. Our own Musashi is uh, getting stuck in with those guys. They are having a secondary battle at the moment. Oh, looks like he's got help from, uh, help from the west also. We will be shooting at them as well. There we go. Let's have to wait to get loaded up. Boy, he dodged all those torps. Nice work, enemy commander. There's a nice penetrating hit. Boy, both this Alaska and the Georgia are low on hit points. I think this is going to be fine. It's going to work for us. Okay, he's beat those torpedoes. Now they're trying to turn in towards our Musashi. Give, not give a broadside to him. Our Musashi is looking. Okay, put that in. Hopefully we can get rid of this guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Citadel. Oh, man. And our Musashi is very low on hit points. I hope he can stay alive while we get reloading our guns. Enemy George has set his secondaries onto us. Oh, and there goes the Musashi. It's just us. And hopefully some help shooting at that Georgia. He's on fire, though. His engines are out, so the Musashi has dealt him some serious damage. He has not many hit points. There we go, three pens, one over pen, knocking him down the fire. May take him out. Oh, we're on fire now. Let's see what happens. He's so close. Ah, there he goes. Hey, good job, Musashi. That's pretty satisfying at the end. So we have put the fire out. No more secondaries being fired at us, and we will try and claw back some hit points. Oh! The Richelieu, the Frenchie. All his firepower is forward on that ship. Two quadruple turrets. This is interesting. Uh, there's nobody else here but the destroyer, so I am going in. I can't remember if Richelieu is tier 8 or 9. Either way, we're going to go in and give it our best shot. He wants to give me side, side on. I'll go for that. I don't know what he's doing. He's our... Still pointed at me, but that angle looks a little steep. Actually, so is mine. I need to turn back in. He is turning back in. I'm going to try and drill those turrets out. Oh, he just spun away from that. Not a single hit. 
Oh, we got their chappy. I have two fires burning now. Not very good. Over a minute left before I can put them out myself. Going to be down some serious hit points now. I'm going to remain bow on to this guy to give him less of a target, plus a tougher target. I'm not going to give him my side at all, and he is giving me his side. We're about to find out how tough his side armor really is. Let's see. Ha <laughs> ha Citadel. Three penetrations. Very nice. So, I mean, I honestly don't know what he's thinking. Maybe he's not experienced of any kind. I'm still giving him good angle. Wish I was a little more pointed at him. The secondaries are certainly working us over. There we go. Oh, and another Citadel. Yeah. Wow, we are taking serious hit points from him. And this could be it. <laughs> yes, it was. Goodbye, adios. I honestly don't know what he was thinking there. I have to look up the Richelieu and just see what that's all about. Now, we have one battleship remaining. He is in their own cap. The only cap they have left. Looks like he's duking it out. One of our own battleships. Oh, he's gone. It was our Georgia. Took out their Amagi. Well, well. And well, left. all that's left is the aircraft carrier. Four minutes remaining. We have three caps. We are now ahead of them on the cap point. And uh, I don't see this as being too much of a problem to win, although I would like to get around here and get some shots. More damage into that aircraft carrier, because actually we're doing so well here. 124,000? As I said at the beginning, I don't play this ship a lot, but I should be playing it more, because I usually have a good game. Yeah, this has been pretty fun. It's got a decent turning circle as well. As you can see here, it's pretty sharp. And I know the aircrafts are, oh, and we're capping. That's probably the best idea. It's probably not necessary, but at three minutes, you want to rather have a full cap than just saying, hey, you won because you had more caps. Let's actually win this. Whether we get to sink that carrier or not. See his planes are coming from over here. Oh, he's pretty far away. I don't know if I'm even going to have time to uh, get a shot off at him. We're going to try, though. Do, do, do. We are over 30 knots at this point. 30.8. 31. I think this is like a 31, 32 knot ship. So we're practically at full speed. Very low on hit points. There's the carrier. Uh huh. Who are you? Okay, he's disappeared. Our looks like uh, our carrier's fighters have flown away. Oh no, oh, they've got him spotted again. He's slowing right down. Two minutes. Oh man, 970 cap points. Now I'm never going to get there in time. That is too bad. That's really too bad. It's been a great battle though. Um, I can't complain about this ship too much. Can't complain about it too much. It's pretty good. Affirmativo. Affirmativo. Okay. 1,000. Let's go check those stat screens. All right. Well, now you can see our first stat screen here. A glorious 512,000 credits. Gotta love it. 6,431 experience points and 371 free. Looks like a fireproof metal and a dreadnought. Very nice. 124,000 damage done. That's a good match. I, I think that's a good match for anybody. 50, 50 hits of the main battery. Two kills. Two fires set, four citadels. Three of them were on that French Richelieu battleship. I have to look that ship up. And 11 defenses of various caps. Only 13 secondary hits. Didn't get a lot of secondary action going in there. Let's check out the second stat screen here. Second on the team. Not too bad. I'll take it. 1948 XP. Base XP. That's pretty good. Two kills. Now I see our Georgia who is ahead of me. I, yes, I saw him that he did get the Confederate medal and he managed to shoot down 21 airplanes. <laughs> very nice. That is very nice indeed. Okay, let's um, I want to see how many. Let's check the uh, detailed report here. Oh yeah, look at this. You can see on the Richelieu that uh, I got over 51,000 of my damage points just from him. Like, that's pretty amazing. 14 off the Alaska. Just about 30 off the Musashi we were fighting. 17 off the other Georgia. Nine off that Georgia and 2400 off the Chappie. Not too bad. This is not where I get to see my credits. Let's go find that one here. Oh, we netted out. 
Oh, because I have a 24-hour premium account at the time. <laughs> so we got a few more credits for sure. I and mean, we netted out 445 of that 500,000. Otherwise, without the premium, we would have netted out 274. Still nothing to sneeze at, though. All right, folks. Well, there you have it. That, that is the end of this video on the Tier 8 Premium Italian Battleship Roma. Um, not a bad boat at all. If you're looking for a Tier 8 Premium ship to buy, um, I don't think you can go wrong with this boat. Lots of fun. There's lots of Tier 8 Premiums, though, to buy, but uh, you'll be all right with this one. It's not a dud of a boat at all. Well, thanks for coming by, folks. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like the vid. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Share this video out to everyone you know. Please, please, please. All right, folks. Thanks very much. I will catch you next time.